Welcome back everybody. I hope you're doing well. Today in 5 Minute Tones, I want to talk about how I dial in a ducking delay. I've previously done a video talking about how I dial in a lead delay, and that's centered around solving the issue that pops up when you have delay, where having delay on just kind of gives you this beautiful safety blanket when you're playing lead guitar. But having the delay mix too high means that the delay repeats kind of interfere with what you're playing. So one solution that we had, and this was in the previous video, was to use the EQ on the delay repeats, or if you're just using a delay pedal, something like a tone control, to make our delay sound darker relative to our main raw guitar sound. But today we're going to have a look at another method by basically turning all the delay repeats down when we're playing and then letting them return to their full volume when we're not playing, and this is called ducking delay. Let's start by hearing the guitar sound with no delay. I'm on the Axe FX3 and I'm using the USA lead mid gain and it is absolutely filthy. <laughs> Beautiful stuff. Now, if I wanted to play some lead guitar with that, I would start by putting some delay on. That's just what I like to do. It makes me feel good and it probably makes me play better as well. So we can start with this digital stereo delay with a mix at 25%. And when I play some lead, you're going to hear the kind of delay repeats get in the way of what I'm doing. <laughs> Now, when I'm not playing, I really like the repeats that are going on there, but the kind of main delay sound is interfering with my playing a little bit. Last time, we basically EQ'd the delay repeats, but let's do this instead. Let's dial up the ducking delay type. And basically, any delay type in the Axe FX3 lets you attenuate those delays using this feature here, the tone slash duck. But I'll just use the ducking delay because this is the easiest one. By touching nothing else other than changing the delay type, you'll see that the attenuation in the ducker has been set automatically at 12 dB and it does this. <laughs> Which is kind of cool because as I play, the delay gets turned down. When I'm not playing, I still have that beautiful wash of ambience around my playing. Now, I like to turn the attenuation up to about 20 dB and it gives me this. <laughs> which is pretty awesome. I don't have to turn the mix down. I don't have to EQ the delays if I like the tone of the delay. I can just use the ducker. Now, setting the threshold is really important. This is the point that your guitar signal has to cross before the delays start getting turned down. At the moment, minus 40 works with the tone that I've got going down. Uh, if that doesn't work, adjust the threshold. But one thing I do like to do is turn the release time up to about 100 milliseconds. This basically will let our delays kind of swell back in in a slightly more natural fashion. In my opinion, they just take longer to turn up. <laughs> So you kind of have that effect with a really uh, short release time. I think that's a word for it. So, you know, less than 10 milliseconds now. You can hear the delay almost immediately turns up. Personally, I like a long release time. And you can do this with any delay type. For example, on channel B, I have the stereo tape and I have set up 20 dB of attenuation with a release time of 145 milliseconds. Let's hear it without the ducker and then with it. So I'll set it back to 20. It's not activated yet. This is no ducker. Then I'm going to press enter and you will hear the ducking activated. Beautiful stuff. You can probably even turn the mix up higher if you want more of that wash around your playing. That's really, really nice. So by using the ducking feature, you can actually have the mix of your delays up higher, but while you're playing, the repeats aren't getting in the way. You could combine this with the tips and tricks from the last 
delay dialing in video that I did and play around with the EQ as well. Uh, you could even do something like play around with the diffusion so that once the delay does get turned up, it's all kind of smeared out and reverby. <laughs> Ooh, that's nice as well. We should probably talk about diffusion in another video though. If you would like to learn more about diffusion, let me know in the comments and I will do another video. If there's anything else you would like to learn about how I like to dial in delays, please also let me know in the comments. Uh, essentially, any kind of digital delay pedal now worth its salt will have some kind of ducking feature. You know, back in the day it was the TC2290 and that was a whole lot of money and that was very much a professional only kind of thing. You know, hobbyists basically didn't have access to that. Whereas now stuff like the Boss DD200 has a ducking feature. Uh, a lot of other even cheaper delays have a duct delay feature. They may not let you kind of tweak the attenuation threshold and release as much as something like the Axe FX, but they can certainly do the trick. So that is very, very exciting. If you are an Axe FX user, I hope you can put this into practice and uh, yeah, better dial in your lead delay tones. Thanks for watching the video. I will see you next time. Cheers.